Day three here. That's Greg. Always, always unsure if he's grumpy or not. Day three, we're getting our window boxes made up, framing lumber cut up, and we're gonna go ahead and start installing those windows. Basically our steel is gonna be here probably around two or three o'clock. We just got here, it's after lunch. We spent the morning doing some loose end stuff at other job sites. Hopefully the steel does get here around two o'clock and we have a good opportunity of getting the uh, roof on before we leave tonight, Friday. That would be an amazing feat since I really thought we'd have our steel yesterday, which meant today we would have had this gorgeous day. There's no breeze, gorgeous. So we're trying to get ready for our roof and what we've got to do, you can kind of see up here, Greg is up in the trusses and he is basically putting our chains where they are going to be needed so that we can pull the wall left or right. If you can see this, we've got a chain up here and it's gonna pull against the bottom of this post, which will bring the wall, as we pull the chain, it will bring the wall this way. And what we've got up here is a nice string line. And that string line, I mean, there's no breeze at all, it's gorgeous. So that string is gonna tell us straight from this end pole all the way to that end pole. And obviously what you wanna do first is make sure all of your walls are level. And then once you connect the dots with the string line, your fascia should be level, or sorry, your fascia should be straight. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we got these chains on our peak and we'll pull our peak whatever way we gotta go. We got one on each end. We'll pull it whatever way we gotta go to get it squared up. And the most important part, I mean, people always ask me, how do you guys get a very straight roof line down at the eave? It's actually pretty simple. You start level, you start square at the bottom on your foundation, and you end level and you end square. When that happens and you put everything uh, plumb level, it's really easy to run a pretty, pretty straight roof. Back here, I'm working on all these window frames. So once we make sure that our end walls are all level, we come in, we mark out our location. I always put the center of a window right on the center of a high rib of the steel. And that's so it works out when we put our trims on, the water flashes. We got our window box, that's the same dimension as our post, two by six. And then we put a back frame here that connects our header to our sill and we cut out the girt that goes between them and then we're gonna put a piece of uh, blocking and that is going to be our solid face of our window so we can nail it into the frame. Some people always ask me what we use for fasteners. This is a GRK three and a eighth inch screw, T25 head. And I'm gonna show you the difference between this screw, this framing screw, which is a structural screw, and this framing screw, both T25, same length. I'm gonna show you, you're gonna hear the difference in the screw, and then you'll know what I mean. First, we've got the standard screw, the non-GRK, the off-brand. Okay. Now we've got the GRK screw. I'm pretty sure you can hear it. Both screwed with the triple hammer from Hitachi. Love this screw gun. The GRK is so much smoother, it takes way less effort, and that has to save on your battery life of your cordless tools. See, now we got all of our chains on the trusses. These little wedge boards we use to get minimal, minimal movement. Everything's nice and level, straight. It's all marked, laid out. Greg, high five on that one, good job. You can see up there, string line. Everything's nice and straight. Just waiting on our steel to show up. Should be here, good lord, I hope it's soon. Nice and straight. Zoom in here for you so you can really, really, really appreciate this. Yeah, nice and straight.
Well, that's unfortunate. Um, basically, just got off the phone with the driver for my metal supplier, and he's stuck in traffic. He had about seven loads before me today. Was supposed to see him probably between like the two and three o'clock hour, which even then was a pretty big push, but I really thought if we saw the steel by three o'clock, they'd give us a couple hours before we usually quit. At least we would have gotten the roof steel laid, and I mean, the building is exactly where we want it. It's straight, it's square. The roof is marked out, ready to go. When that steel dropped, we were gonna fly and just put it up, get it tacked down as much as we could before five o'clock, meet our schedule, you know, meet our deadline, get what we wanted done. But uh, in contracting, it doesn't always work like that. Things happen, you gotta adjust. So Friday, gonna head home early, give this bad boy a wash because it's full of salt. Roads were covered in salt this week when I was hauling it, so. Whatever, Monday, we'll be back.